Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be reorganizing my bookshelf as you probably saw on the title of this video. Yeah, nothing much. A few months ago I got a few more bookshelves. I got my very first like whole Billy bookshelf from Ikea. I didn't have a lot of time back then because of university and my exams. Um, so I just put the books massively in there and I never got to organize it. Basically, I started this video a few months ago, so I'm gonna put the footage of me building the bookshelf, putting like the fairy lights on them and a first organizing kind of thing. But right now I think I'm gonna take all the books out, make a few piles and then put them back on. Yeah. That's basically the plan. These clips are quite old, so if you see me wearing a hoodie, it was winter back then and now it's summer, so it's a view of the past. So it's time to build another bookshelf. Let's go. There we go. It's up. I had a little accident <laughs> right there, but we are gonna cover it up. Uh, this is huge. <laughs> I don't have enough books to put in here. We have to move this one in there. I still have some space in there and the mirror and the plant are going away. So we decided to move this one there. So I have like a space to open my door again because my door right now does not open all the way through. So all these books, I'm gonna move into there and I'm gonna move these and I have to take the fairy lights on and I have to put the fairy lights on back again. It's gonna be a mess for a few days. I don't really know if you can tell, but I have zero arm strength and I was really struggling, but I was like, you're a strong woman, independent woman, and you can do it by yourself. But I was so close to calling my mother because <laughs> I was really struggling moving this. But there you go. I did it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I emptied most of it. Um, the only ones I left are this shelf, which are all Spanish books that are gonna stay there, honestly, and these, which are books that I don't wanna show anymore. back to the present and as I said after all of that I think I'm, I'm just gonna take all the books out I bought a few more books so I have to find place for them there's a few shelves that I do like how they are like for example my Shadowhunter shelf so I think I'm gonna leave that one and probably my front glass shelf but yeah the rest is gonna go out I want to make a really big Lainey Taylor bookshelf or book knock stuff so I forgot to say but all my bookshelves are from Ikea these are the narrow billy bookshelves the big billy bookshelf the half billy bookshelf and then I have a narrow half billy bookshelf there so I have all the types of billy bookshelves 
And then my floating shelves, um, my dad made for me, but you can find them in Addison, I believe, I think, I don't know. I don't know where to start. Emptied all my Lainey Taylor's book, most of my paperbacks. These two shelves are gonna stay like that because they are Spanish and I'm probably gonna get rid of all of them. And these shelves just gonna stay there because I don't have enough books to like fill all the bookshelves. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I think I'm gonna move the shadow the shadow hunters now. The throne of glass books up here. Then I'm gonna put these two shelves as fantasy and UK paperbacks. And probably I'm gonna again do these two as Lainey Taylor's bookshelves. I finally got a Courthouse and Starlight, the original cover, because I didn't own it. A bit of a trick if you have like dust jackets and you want to put like separate books so it looks like you have more not that you need to look like more but i like how these two like look separate and this dust jacket goes with this one so i just took another random bag and i just put it on inside and put it like this it looks good I think I've done it all. I think it looks cute. Let me put the the lights on and I'll show you. This is how it looks like with the lights on. It looks pretty similar to before, but I'm happier with it. On top of here, we have the BHS. These two shelves I didn't touch. They are my Victoria shop shelves. And then I moved my Throne of Glass collection up there and the Aquatar as well. I have my other set of Akutor books in here. This will be my contemporary mystery shelf thingy. I love how it looks. It's so colorful. Most of my books are black. So I love that like this bookshelf. It's so like white and full of color. And then my first fantasy shelf, mostly fantasies. I love how the mismatch look. Like it, it looks messy, but I kind of like it, even though that red book kind of stands out a lot. Then I have the other fantasy shelf, which this one is a bit emptier because, for example, I'm missing a book in the Repair, the Ember in the Ashes series. I really like how it looks again with a messy look. The Shadow Hunter bookshelf didn't move. This one is just messy, messy because you cannot see it. First Lainey Taylor shelf, I was so surprised that all these books actually fit in there. This is the tin box of the Lumicrate box. And then Daughter of Smoke and Bones and 
my 100 different editions in paperback. And this might be my favorite bookshelf just because you can see my favorite covers ever, which are these two. Um, these two, these four look amazing. And, and as I said, I just put a random book in there to make it look a little fuller and then the Illumi Create items and also the Illumi Create editions. And that's it. I didn't change the floating shelves because I like how they look. And that's pretty much it for the bookshelf reorganization. I really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, if you want to follow me, I have Goodreads. I also post daily on my Instagram. We can chat there. I'm most active there. And yeah, happy summer. Happy Pride Month, by the way. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye.